Hope. My name is Al Ackerman and welcome to the channel. If you like card magic, you're in the right place. If you love sleight of hand, make sure you click on subscribe. Now, I've been asked uh, by several people to do some of my favorite pharaoh effects. So this is one of them. I call it the Tattletale Joker. Let's take a look. Okay, Eva. We are going to mix these guys up. Let's get shuffled. Now, I would like you to shuffle these up. You make some more Because this is tricks all about you. Alright, so those are mixed up. Now, besides this group of cards, I'm going to use one card in this deck. The joke. Alright? So, what I'm going to have you do, uh, this deck, I'm going to have you cut a few times. You can do this under the table or you can do it on top of the table. Uh, but I want you to take one card after you cut it and put it in the card box so nobody knows what it is. Right? Now, like I said, I'm using the joke. So cut it as many times you shuffle. Right? Now you cut. Okay. Take the cut. Take the cut. Cut them again. So you have no idea what the top and bottom cards. Now you can take either the top or the bottom, and I want you to slide it in the card case. Slide it so you don't know what it is. Nobody in the world knows what that card is. Set the deck down. All right. Now what I want you to do is to cut off about a third. Put it right there. And then cut off another third. Put it right there. Okay. I'm going to place this joke, and this guy's a tattletale. I'm going to put him right in the center of the pack. And we're going to complete the cut. Okay? Now, believe it or not, that joke is going to scream out the name of your car in just a moment. Here. Okay? So he's going to scream out. The name of a car. Ah, so it's just it could be any one of these cards, right? Huh. Well, actually, it's in the card game, so it's the one card that's missing from this deck. Now, I'm going to give the deck four shuffles and cuts, four of them. And each shuffle and cut, something miraculous is going to happen. Huh. Here's cut number one. You know what just happened? All the red cards separated from all the black cards. Or not. Now this is going to be shuffle, shuffle number two. Shuffle number two. You know what just happened? The hearts got separated from the diamonds and the clubs got separated from the spin. Here's cut number three. You know what just happened there? All the cards are in order. So now they go ace through king of hearts, ace through king of diamonds, ace through king of clubs, ace through king of spades. Wow. Impressive, huh? I'd like to see it. All right. And now one more Sounds shuffle. Like a bunch of cards. One more shuffle. You can see that. You know what just happened now? You know what happened even? They're back in random order. I knew you were bored by I knew you were No, no, no. Just <laughs> easy. They're still in order. But one car, that tattle cat tail car, he's going to scream out the identity of that car from the card box. They really are in order. Ace through king of clubs, ace through king of hearts, ace through king of spades, ace through king of diamonds. But look at right there, the jokers, that's a five joker seven. That's the six of spades no right way. there in the box. Are you serious? Yeah. What the hell? Fun trick. Pharaoh shot. That's a good one. 
Hey, if you like the effect, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Now, I put together this presentation by combining two routines. One was by Nicholas Paré from his book, Feral Poetry. And then I found another routine in a Jim Swain book. He credits the routine to Michael Close, and he called it Tongue and Cheek. And I thought the two routines could be blended together, and this is the result. And it's become one of my favorite effects using a Pharaoh shuffle. So if you guys like the channel, like the material, really does help me out if you click on that subscribe button right over there. And if you want to see another one of my favorite Pharaoh effects, I called it Finally Matched, click on that link right over there. I published that in Magic Magazine in the mid-90s. My name's Al Ackerman, and I hope to catch you the next time.